Good morning Year One and welcome to the final day of our maths lesson. So today we're going to be revising volumes and then we're going to be looking at a new method of finding fractions, quarters and halves. So get your whiteboard and whiteboard pen ready and then we'll get started. Okay Year One, so earlier in the week we found the volumes of different measuring cylinders. We're going to do this in two steps today. The first step is I want you to find the volumes of these measuring cylinders up here. The second step is we're going to be finding the addition and subtraction using particular ones. OK, it's really algebra, but you'll be able to do that, so don't worry. So off you go and grown up, start the video when you've mentioned when you found these measurements. OK, welcome back, year one. Our first one is 70 mils. Beaker B contains 30 mils. Beaker C contains 60 mils. Beaker D contains 50 mils. Beaker E, 40 mils. And beaker F, which is the most challenging, is halfway between 40 and 50, so it's 45 mils. OK, so if you haven't got those readings, make sure you change them now to reflect that, because the second section is about finding what they are added together. So, for example, what we're asking here is what's the volume of beaker A, 70, and beaker B, 30? So, effectively, you're doing 70 plus 30, and you're solving that. This second one and the fourth one here, because they're identical, because you may want to start there, some of you. C, which is 60, plus E, to work that out, and you've got C minus D. And all of these are like this. So what you need to do is find the volume in each letter and then do whatever you've been asked with it. OK, so when you're ready, grown ups, we'll start the video again. OK, so 70 plus 30 is 100 mils. C, which is 60 mils, plus E, which is 40 mils, is also 100 mils. C minus D, so 60 mils, take away 50 mils, is 10 mils. And we've already said this is 100 mils. And then we've got C, take away E, so it's 60 mils, take away 40 mils, which is 20 mils. Then A, which is 70 mils, take away C, which is 60 mils, so that's 10 mils. And double F, so we're saying double 45, so double four tens and double five ones. So that's 80 plus 10, which is 90. Then D minus F is 50, take away 45, which is 5 mils. And then this last one is B, which is 30, plus D, which is 50, so that's 80, plus E which is 40, so that's 120 mils. And if you want to have a go at the challenge at the bottom, have a go now, but I'm not going to be able to go through the answers for that because there's lots and lots of permutations. OK, so moving on, we're having a look at how we can use what's called fraction walls to find the fractions of things. So today we're going to look at, if we know that this is 8, we know the yellow is half the length of 8, so we'd work out what half of that is. So that would be 4 plus 4. So we know the yellow is 4. And then we've got to split that in 2 again to find out the quarter, which is 2. So can you see how we can use from whole to half to quarter? Let's have a go at another one. 4. So half of 4 is 2 plus 2. And then half of 2 is 1. OK, I want you to have a go at this next one. Next one is, I'm going to start it here, 12. So work out what the next two sections are. And when you're ready, grown-ups, start the video again. OK, so half of 12 would be 6, and half of 6 is 3. I bet you got this. Now the next one's a bit more challenging. I'm going to put 4 here. So that's saying 4 is half of this. So we have 4 plus 4, which equals 
eight for this section and then we know that these four sections here are all the same size so it's still just a half it's just mixed up okay so that is what i want you to have a go at so i'm going to reveal the first sheet now row nuts let your child have a go through them and as soon as you're ready start the video again and we'll go through the answers right i bet you've done brilliant with these so we've got eight to start off with, half of eight is four, and half of four is two. And we know that two plus two plus two plus two, he makes eight. Next one is 12. We know half of 12 is six, and half of six is three. 20. Half of 12 is 10, and half of 10 is five. How are you doing? And then this last one, 16. Half of 16 is eight. And then half of eight is four because four plus four plus four plus four makes 16. Now, this is what we looked at at the beginning. So we've got eight there. So we've got to do eight plus eight to give us 16. And then we just halve that to give us four. And this last one is 10. So we know there's another 10 there. So that's a total of 20. And half of that is five. OK. And then on to our last section. Our last section. Have a go at these, and when you're ready, grown-ups, start again. Okay, so 24, half of 24 is 12, and half of 12 is 6. Now you can go either direction here, but it mirrors, so that becomes 12. Go either direction here, we can go 4, doubled which makes eight which makes 16. here we're going to have to go from the bottom so two plus two is four and then four plus four is eight okay two more to go three plus three is six and six plus six is twelve do you see the way i'm filling in to help myself work it out and then half of twelve is six double twelve is twenty four and that's it. That's the end of your maths lesson. You've done brilliant today. Well done. Well done.